What's up, you money makers? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to cover ticker symbol CTRM after a long time. Castor Maritime Inc. popped 20.25% 20 or 25 cents just in today's trading session. I'll be covering what's happening with CTRM. They have uh, they have registered record revenue. They have announced this massive net income for three months and at December 31st, 2021 as well. And the stock popped 20 20% in just today's market. So I'll be covering that. If you don't mind hitting the like button, that will be super, super helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I used, I, I own this stock once uh, back in the days. I, for the record, I do not own CTRM at the moment, but I saw the momentum and I wanted to cover and share this new update with you and talk more about what is the long-term future and what the company is doing. Take a look. One day, we saw 20% up for five days. We're down. Uh, we're up 20% as well. For one month, we're up 7.78%. For six months, we are down 35.90%. Now, what's going on with CTRM? If you take a look, the day range is $1.31 to $1.52. If you take a look back in the days, the historical data, you should be able to see that the stock was trading well about $2 and gradually it declined. So right here, $2.33, $2.35, $2.40 back in November 2021 and gradually it declined. It went around $1 um, before a few days, $1.05 on January 7th and 27th. And since then, it spiked back up to $1.00. 45 and we saw pretty good volume 12.8 million today now what is driving this one of the reason is their announcement so if you take a look in september 2021 they had the revenue of 43.28 million which is up 1450 percent 1450 percent up in terms of the revenue and their net income quarter ending september 2021 was 15.46 million now, the cost of revenue is pretty high as well, but the net incomes look pretty, pretty lucrative. Now, if you are new to this stock and new to this company, I just wanted to share what this company does. They are a growth-oriented global shipping companies engaged in the seaborne transportation of a wide range of commodities along worldwide shipping routes through the ownership of dry bulk and tanker vessels. The company started with the dry bulk vessels and expanded themselves into tanker vessels. Shipping industry all in all is a massive cash oriented business, cash intensive business. So what this company does is they raise the capital, they raise the debt and put that into buying more and more vessels. And through that, they're expanding their business and they generate more and more revenue and more and more profitability. We have seen that the reverse split happened with Castro Maritime Inc. as well. But why the stock popped today is they reported Castro Maritime Inc. or CTRM reported 29.2 million net income for the three months ended December 31st, 2021, which is a massive income in my opinion. Now, I am not a financial advisor, nor am a certified professional. I'm not saying buy or sell this stock. I'm just simply reporting what's going on with CTRM, given that this was one of my favorite stocks back in the days I no longer own CTRM and they also reported 52.3 million in net income for the year ending December 31st 2021 now if you take a look before in June the revenue was 21.79 million with 6.48 million in net income in March the revenue was almost 7 million with the net income of positive 1.13 million in December. However, they were negative in net income, $769,000 with the revenue of 4.39 million in, in revenue. And September, very similar story, a little over half a million net income negative with the revenue of 2.79 million. So they are doing a lot more than Tanex in terms of the revenue for last two quarters. So right here, Tanex from 2 million, 2.79 million. Right now they're 21.79 million. September, the double from the previous quarter as well. So they're aggressively growing and which is what we talked about when I bought the stock back in the days and sold out as well. Looking further, it is looking super, super juicy and impressive with the net revenue 60 million for the three months ending December 31st, which is Q4 2021, compared to 4.4 million for the three months ended December 31st, a year prior, 2020. The net income was 29.2 million for the three months ending December 31st, 2021, compared to the net loss of 0.8 million for the same period last year. 
Now looking at the net loss and earning per common shares, it's 18 cents earning per share for the three months ending 31st of December compared to just six cents prior year. Looking at EBITDA, they're controlling that 36.1 million for three months ended December 31st, 2021 compared to 0.3 million or $300,000 for the three months ended December 30th, 31st, 2020. Now they have cash restricted cash of 43.4 million at the year ending or the quarter ending December 31st that they had 9.4 million in December 2020. With all this, during the fourth quarter of 2021, the company's date press release, they have taken successful delivery of three vessels, including this two of Panamax dry bulk carrier with, as a result, Castro Maritime own right now 29 vessels. I started following this company when they had three or four vessels a couple of years back. Right now they have 29 vessels and they're aggregating capacity of 2.5 million DWT having more than quadrupled the number of vessels its own since December 31st, 2020. With the earning highlight, their revenue is 132 million for 2021, which is a massive, massive revenue. They're already more than a $100 million revenue company compared to 12.5 million that they had in 2020. And their net income is 52.3 million for the year of December 31st, 2021, compared to 1.8 million, just 1.8 million. They jumped up to 52.3 million. Their earning and loss, 48 cents earning per share for the year ending. And this numbers look super, super juicy, juicy and interesting. Now, 2021 was a transformational year. If you take a look once again, what the stock has been doing, the revenue or the volume is 10x than what they used to do. 1.8 million was the average volume. Right now you see that 12.8 million just in today's trading session. This is the announcement for the result. Before that, they also announced the 55 million debt financing and new charter agreement as well. Before that, they took this deliveries of these two vessels. Right before that, they're, they're regarding to the new charter agreement. So all in all, what the company does is raise more capital, raise more debt, buy more vessels and increase the revenue. And so that they also can increase their profitability. What they're also focusing on is reducing their EBITDA, which means operating cost. How they get this all debt is because now it's a proven business at the moment. They're happily announcing the closing of new debt financing, our largest to date and the commencement of the new relationship with the leading European financial institution. We believe that the new debt will improve the capital structure and enhance their ability to pursue the strategic goal and growth for the initiative and the objectives that the company has. Castro Maritime Inc. has 29 vessels with this massive, massive aggregate capacity and they're growing aggressively. They, left and right, they have been acquiring more and more vessels. They expanded their, themselves from dry bulk vessels to this liquid vessels as well. And with that, we also see that they have, there are so many ups and downs. The company also had reverse split as well. The company got back very close to $1, which is the minimum price bid rule requirement for NASDAQ. We'll see what the future brings in. But if you take a look right now, what we see is 58 is their RSI, which is not an or but an universal condition, in my opinion. It's a pretty healthy condition, uh, so it may not or may or may not impact the price point at to the point uh, for for the next uh, next few days. Take a look for, for last five days. If you take, uh, we saw the spike just today from 121. We went to 145, and we sustained there in terms of the price point. Now, if you take a look at year to date or at just one year, you should be able to see that this stock did extremely extremely well back in the days 17 dollars and this is prior price so before the reverse split so that's why it is showing such a massive price point so from 17 dollars we got to one dollar and 50 45 cents the reason practically is they had to do the stock delusion they had to aggregate all this is dead they had to consolidate that they had to get more and more on debt and that's how the shipping industry works now if you bought this stock and if you're in for long there could be good future, but many people are looking for swing trades or maybe quadruple their money. Once again, this is panning stock at the end of the day. Now, when you trade into panning stock, it's extremely risky. Risk versus rewards, so do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here to share the knowledge and the analysis and research that I have done, hoping you can make informed financial decision. Don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video.